welcome back to another lesson today we will be reading the first part of today's lesson and there will be questions after paragraphs or a paragraph for comprehension check i want students to pause the video there write the questions down and answer them in your own words okay and then share it to me as your homework as a part of your homework so this will uh let's say uh, decide whether you get your attendance or not so make sure you send me the work okay so moving ahead today's lesson is titled a truly beautiful mind so we will be reading about a mind which was truly very beautiful so before we read there's a question here like when you hear the word genius right who uh, what do you think of okay who comes into your head when you think of when you hear, hear the word genius and what qualities do you think a genius has now you don't need to write the answer here just think of it so when i think of a genius well there are like many people who comes to my mind but one of them is albert einstein so we'll read about him right so we shall now read about a young german civil servant who took the world by storm of about 100 years ago in the summer of 1905 the 26 year old published in a quick succession four ground breaking papers so quick succession means one after another and ground breaking paper here may refers to uh, a theory which was proven far more effective than expected okay so the four papers were about light the motion of particles the electrodynamics of moving bodies and energy so you students are also studying science so you are uh, i hope aware with these scientific words so his work took up only a few pages in scientific journal so journal is like a magazine and in this scientific magazine the work he had given or i published only has few pages but it changed forever our understanding of space time and the entire cosmos okay but after that the normal scientist and we as a human being the way we understand space time and entire cosmos means universe it changes it changed forever and transformed the name einstein into a synonym for genius so synonym means a word that has similar meaning right so einstein then transferred uh, transformed and became a word which also means genius so if you say like he is an einstein that probably you are saying that he is a genius now the first paragraph Albert Einstein was born on 14th March 1879 in the German city of Ulm without any indication that he was destined for greatness. Okay so when he was born he was just like a common ordinary child there were no indication no marks which shows that he will be a great personality in his future right destined means future which is predetermined. On the contrary on the opposite his mother thought Albert was a freak to her his head seemed too large much too large so the mother however thought that Albert Einstein was a freak so who is a freak normally a a person who is very different from normal and ordinary human beings okay and the reason here is because the head of Einstein when he was a baby was too much large right then at the age of two and a half albert einstein still wasn't talking okay so normally at this age people uh, baby started talking but she didn't when he finally did learn to speak he uttered he spoke everything twice einstein did not know what to do with other children and his playmates playmates friends called him brother bore so the youngster einstein played by himself much of the time he especially loved mechanical toys mechanical means of or relating to machines looking at his newborn sister maja he said to his uh, he is said to have said fine but where are her wheels so these words clearly describe and shows and proves that einstein was uh, fond of mechanical toys because when he first saw his 
newborn sister he was asking for wheels right which is a mechanic uh, mechanical quality of a machine okay i hope this one is clear now we have some questions here as i said pause the video and then write down the question and answer by yourself okay yeah moving ahead a headmaster once told his father that what einstein chose as a profession wouldn't matter because he'll never make success at anything einstein began learning to play the violin at the age of six because his mother wanted him to he later became a gifted amateur violinist maintaining the skill out throughout his life so what happened is the headmaster at the school okay he said he told einstein's father that when when he will grow up and when he chooses a profession right profession here relates to work it wouldn't matter whatever work he cho uh, chooses because he will never make a success at anything he will never be successful at anything the headmaster was has proclaimed that but on the other hand einstein proved that when he was only six years old his mother wanted him to play violin although he doesn't have that wish and desire to but because his mother wanted him he then started playing and became a gifted amateur violinist amateur usually means beginner okay and he was a good violinist and he maintained he kept this skill the play, art of playing violin throughout all across his lifetime okay but albert einstein was not a bad pupil pupil here refers to student i hope you know he went to high school in munich where einstein's family had moved when he was 15 months old and scored good marks in almost every subject einstein hated the school's regimentation and often clashed with his teachers at the age of 15 einstein felt so stifled there that he left the school for good now what happened here is what uh, was he a bad pupil bad student no it doesn't seem like because he can he scored good marks in almost every subject right and then he used to study in munich which is in germany einstein hated school's regimentation so regimentation here refers to the strict rule which is there in school right regimentation usually is a word normally derived from military so regimentation means strict and tough rules and he often clash so clash means disagree he often get into a fight a verbal fight with his teachers at the age of 15 einstein felt so stifled he felt as if someone is choking his uh, neck right he did he feel uh, difficult in breathing and he didn't feel comfortable at that school so he left the school for good for good here means for the good of both sake now we back to comprehension check pause the video write down the answers the previous year albert's parents had moved to milan okay they moved to milan parents and left their son with relatives so relatives are like the uh, you know siblings of the parents after prolonged discussions prolonged means after a very lengthy stretched discussion einstein got his wish to continue his education in german speaking switzerland in a city which was more liberal than munich so then what happened is his parents moved to milan and he was left there with his relatives so then he finally got to continue his wish which was to continue his education in switzerland which is a german speaking switzerland and in that city it was much more liberal there were more uh, freedom than in compared to munich so because we know munich uh, the school was like a regimentation the rule and the law were tough but in uh, the german speaking switzerland it was not that uh, what's a restricted uh, area as compared to munich Einstein was highly gifted in mathematics and interested in physics and after finishing school he decided to study at a university in Zurich so Zurich is a place in Switzerland but science wasn't the only thing that appealed that attracted to the dashing 
young man with the walrus mustache so walrus is a sea animal and the mustache that he carries makes his appearance as if a walrus okay and it was not only science it was not just physics and mathematics which attracted him okay there was some other thing which we will see what was now here is picture of albert einstein at the age of 21 and here uh, as we remember him now okay which was later after he became uh, the genius or started knowing as the genius right he was a genius ah okay pause the video think of the answer and then write them down now what was his other interest okay he also felt a special interest in a fellow student fellow here refers to uh, similar uh, uh, what's it, a same age group student Meliva Merrick whom he found to be a clever creature this young serp okay this young serp had come to Switzerland because the university in Zurich was one of the few in Europe where women could get degrees so back then it was difficult for a woman to study in university right so Milivo Merrick then took the opportunity to visit and get admission in the university which is in Zurich Einstein saw in her an ally against the Philistines those people in his family and at the university with whom he was at constantly at odds the couple fell in love letters survive in which they put their affection into words mixing science with tenderness wrote einstein how happy and proud i shall be when we both have brought our work on relativity to a victorious conclusion so now this paragraph has introduced maliva marik okay so who is Melima Varick? She is a fellow student of Einstein and then he found her to be a clever creature. Now she came from she came from Sub Siberian because she was a Serb to Switzerland for her education and then Einstein found her to be her ally. So ally refers to a friend because she, she also has this quality which moves a uh, what's it which is against Philistines. So who is Philistine? Philistines is a word used disapprovingly to talk about people who do not like art, literature and music. So there are people who do not like art, who do not like painting, who do not like poems and stories and music. So those people are known as Philistines. Okay, Philistines. Now his family members and his, uh, what's it, people at university does not like uh, these arts or the subjects much so he was usually constantly at odds with them so he doesn't uh, stay with them nicely okay so that was one reason why he was attracted to her and then they later started changing exchanging letters with one and two uh, with others and then uh, they fell in love he also wrote that it would be a great uh, thing for him if they both uh, can finish the work on relativity and make it a victorious um, accomplishment okay so we have questions here simple questions answer them write them down in your notebook okay in 1900 at the age of 21 Albert Einstein was university graduate so he graduated he passed the university but he was unemployed he didn't have any employment which means job he worked as a teaching assistant gave private lessons and finally got a job secured found a job in 1902 as a technical expert in the patent office in Bern. okay so it was not easy for him to find job even when he was a genius right while he was supposed to be assessing assessing means uh, evaluating checking other people's inventions okay discoveries einstein was actually developing his own ideas in secret he said to have jokingly called his desk drawer at work the bureau of theoretical physics so desk drawer as you know there's a desk and which has drawers so he jokingly called those desk drawers as bureau of theoretical physics so bureau it refers to an office which works with papers okay normally with theories and other official and formal paper paperwork 
So this is quite simple. We have some questions. Pause the video. Think of answer and write them down. One of the most, one of the famous papers of 1905 was Einstein's special theory of rel relativity. Okay, so this one is quite important even today. According to which time and distance are not absolute. So according to this theory, time and distance is not exactly same. Indeed, here means in fact, two perfectly accurate clock will not continue to show the same time if they come together again after a journey if one of them has been moving very fast relative to the other okay so he also gave an example here from this followed the world's most form famous formula which describes the relationship between mass and energy now can you guess the most famous formula okay which can describe mass and energy okay if you're a keen at science if you want to pursue your future in science that you should know this right so he gave an example of a clock here which is accurately uh, let's say perfectly uh, made similar in its time and its second but then if it moves on a journey and then come back and suppose one is moving much faster relative to the other then the both clock will not show the same time okay so this proof that time and distance are not similar always now the most famous uh, formula was e is equal to mc square so in this mathematical equation e stands for energy and m here stands for mass and c is the speed of light in vacuum okay vacuum means free space about 330 uh, what is it 300000 kilometers okay 300 uh, kilometers so this is one of uh, his fam most famous formula and here is another example so einstein said this when you sit with a nice girl for two hours it seems like two minutes <laughs> and when you sit on a hot stove for two minutes it seems like two hours that's relativity so relativity means time and distance are dependent on one another right so a nice example is given here you know the first example very clearly so here's hot stove means a place where we uh, cook food right so if you sit on a hot stove well even that two minute will feel like two hours because it is will be difficult and frustrating to spend time there but when you sit with a nice girl the two hours will let's say pass in within a snap and just as the phrase says time flies you will feel like that okay so yeah with this we are done with the first part thank you very much for listening to this uh, lesson and watching it and as, as i said make sure you complete the work and share them with me in order to get your attendance thank you if you have any question query feel free to leave a message here